Welcome back. We're hitting the hardwood now. Snow Hill, the place to be on Mondays and Thursdays for Supreme League oh, action. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm really glad that they have that back. I mean, the summer is a really long sports season yep. in, in terms of just nothing going on besides baseball. So it's always good that we can have the Summer League basketball yeah. here in Snow Hill. And we had some really good matchups as well. We obviously talked about Bull on the Beach and Hilltoppers, yep. but we also have Laurel the Dogs and Y High for JBC Construction. Now, let's get to those highlights. It was a good start for Y High. Julian Cully on the dribble drive right there puts it in over the defense but later how about Zabrian Ellie with two of his 10 on the day some great defense too. watch the hustle watch from this Tayshon Devin Schwann. check this out off yeah. the glass wow <laughs> that is very impressive he is definitely uh developing yeah, into Tayshon a great Swan, two, two yep. way player yeah he's great uh definitely uh, making strides on both sides of the basketball obviously he hit that three as well and then obviously from beyond the arc and then you're going to see a couple more layups and more points being scored swan finishing with 14 he led all y high scores yeah the thing about swan is i hear from the coaching staff he needs to work on the shooting a little bit but the shooting looked pretty darn good out there mm -hmm. yesterday uh jbc construction did everything they could but the laurel bulldogs just pull away matthew phillips with three the hard way but in the end Laurel wins it 47 42. They've looked great. A lot of energy playing with a lot of tenacity on defense as well. Great ball yep. movement. And uh, Laurel is going to be a team to watch out for. And we actually saw them earlier on this week as well back on Monday. So let's go ahead and show those highlights now. Uh, Laurel on Monday playing Aaron's from Pocomoke. Uh, look at the ball movement right here. Brock Hill gets straight to the rim off the feed. The dogs living in the paint. Back on Monday, and they needed every bucket in this one. Asante Laughlin finishing through the contact, and one gets it to fall there. Aarons comes right back. Low scoring game, and unlike the previous weeks, they weren't able to drop too many threes, and that's one thing Aarons needs this season. They're going to need more consistent shooting. Yeah, and you know, obviously on the high school level, when your outside shot is not falling, it's going to be hard to get a win. But Laurel, credit to them. Their defense was great. Brock Hill uh, causing the turnover, and then he got the layup to fall. You'll see that. And then he obviously had eight points in this game in the second half just alone. And this game would go into overtime where Laurel would come out on top 33 to nothing. We're going to talk a little. I'm going to talk a little bit more about them later, but let's get on to Aaron's and loyalty sticking with Pokemoke's kids. They were facing loyalty. Now, this is Mardella as well representing loyalty. And in transition, you see Malachi Bonneville getting the layup. And then we've said this kid's name a lot this summer because of shooting. We were just talking about that. That's Michael Ames drilling the J. And the Zauer Pickett, uh, Pr uh, Pritchett, excuse me, was hooping as well in this game, driving to the cup, getting the bucket, and then going through some contacts, uh, contact and getting another bucket. Aaron's was all over the court. And if you're going to beat them, you're going to have to outplay them and out hustle them. Yep. And that's what they loyalty was hard. not able to do. So Aaron's wins convincingly. That's one thing that you notice about them this summer league. They go out there, they work hard, they hustle in every possession, and they get turnovers because of it. Great stuff there. This was the game of the night uh, last night. Delmar Cats versus Arcadia. Cameron Harmon. Friendly bounce drops there. Arcadia in front in the final minutes. Then Dustin Peterson putting in the work. He's going to be the key for Delmar this year. Oh, yeah. Puts it back. He had 20 to lead all scorers. Big steal by Aiden Marshall. Here's a guard to watch out for. Gets it at midcourt, takes it all the way in himself. And Delmar closing in on a victory here. One final slam from Dustin Peterson as the Cats go on to take it over Arcadia 53-51. So, hey, great fight from Arcadia. And it'll be interesting to see what uh, Danny Lamb's kids can do this season. Yeah, that was, is, we're going to be really interested just to see, especially Peterson. He's got a lot of length. And... That's something you can't teach, so he's going to be a problem for Let's a lot of teams. Let's see if he can get that touch on the mid-range jumper and, and closer to the rim. He, he's going to get a lot of layups and a lot of dunks, but how is that touch going to look from about 10 to 12 feet? That's going to be the key for him this year. Yeah, they're going to be really, really good. Now, let's move on to our next score. Obviously, we got this is Cats, and this is also Bennett Squad, C and P Enterprise. And, yeah, both of these teams have been very, very good, but this turnover leads to a quick bucket for Zakai Small, and then on the other other end you see that this bucket goes to Dustin Peterson I was just talking about his length he gets the offensive board right yep. there and cleans it up but if he can match Smolin's see, firepower in this game that's especially a nice if, move right there just got to finish it's got to finish but they clean up their mess on the offensive glass and he wasn't a done uh, done attacking the rim this time he misses it and that gets cleaned up by Elijah Schofield but seeing Enterprise was too good for the Cats they took them down 42 to 32 thanks to Smolin's team leading 
14 points. So, yeah. Brandon, does anything stand out to you from this week's action on the hardwood well, down at Snow Hill? I talked a little bit about Aaron's just now. I, I, they're a young squad. I hope Bonneville can uh, – he's going to have to be that guy down there in the paint for Pokemo because they have the shooters, they have the guards. Yeah. Uh, one thing that Pokemo is going to need is guys who can uh, get dirty down there, a yeah. Reggie Evans type who may not score too much, <laughs> but they're going to – That's hey, why I know you watch at the hey, NBA, Reggie Evans. That's hey, the name I've that's heard That's one of my favorite yeah. sixers of all time right there. <laughs> Would put up 12 rebounds, two points. Yeah. Yep, but, hey, but he wasn't a yeah, scorer, as you mentioned. You need those dirty guys. work guys. Bonneville can be that type of guy for Pokemo because he goes out there and he hustles down there in the paint. And then uh, just more consistency in the shooting. But, hey, if the shots aren't falling from the outside, try and get more mid-range shots. That's what I want to see out of Pokemo, more confidence as well. So, for me, I'm going to go with the Laurel Dogs. They've been very impressive. They've taken down really two top squads uh, from this summer league. Obviously, they they, they took down uh, JBC Construction re uh, representing Y High. And right. they obviously – took down Aaron's Aaron's has been one of the best teams all you know all summer with the, their hot shooting and the defense from Laurel just right. wild them up they only yep. held them to 30 points they didn't let those kids rain fire on them from three and obviously Brock Hill's a seasoned veteran playing he's been playing a varsity at least for the last two or three seasons so I yep. expect a lot of them coming into the season but they've been really really good and I think yeah. it's because of their defense that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be another fun team to watch coming up we've got the latest on a Milford man who is behind bars following a shooting plus a Lewis man is facing charges following a fraud scheme more when DSI returns Hi, I'm Gerald Jester. I'm the manager of USA Softball Diamonds from Delaware, and you're watching Delmarva Sports Insider.